slow cooker, pull it out. Okay, we want to deal with the slow cooker now. Um, so many people have them, and then they put them in a cupboard, and then that's where it stays. I know. It's, it's, it's such a great stuff. tool, too. It's a I good mean, tool. I don't understand it, you know? Yeah. I mean, this is great. I can make sauces in here. My bolognese can be in here. Chili. You know, chili con carne. Right. Oh my God! I can melt the slow, cheese and for a long time. It just it controls. You don't have to watch it. You just turn slow, it on. Yeah, it does, the work. It does yeah. the work for you. Uh, you're going to be making a recipe right now. Tell us what it is. Oh, this is the, the the famous brachol. The brachol. You know, when you are in Italian, uh, when you have movies, they always have an Italian guy saying, "Hey, I'm going to be home eating brachol." <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah. well, this is the brachol. This is the brachol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it's really all it is is a really a tough cut of meat. Uh, uh -huh. In this case, I'm using an inside round, and you can find it in your local supermarket. And most of them have them already pre-cut like that, which is fantastic because this is like a little paillard, right? I mean, it's something you can put, uh, you season it, put it on your grill, and it's done. You want to stay light. You have a little, uh, a little grilled piece of meat without yeah. getting into steaks and everything else. It's yeah. super expensive, but it can be done with skirt steak or uh, uh, flank. Mm -hmm. Flank, you mm -hmm. beat it down a bit, you know, spread it, and then add all of the ingredients, and make it this long, tie it up, throw it in there, just like we are going to do right now. Okay. So our main ingredients will be uh, break, uh, sorry, uh, cheese, three types of cheese. I have Parmigiano, I have Pecorino, and I have Scamorza in there. Yeah, yes. Oh, baby. Yeah, and, no, then, the right way. and then what do I like? I like garlic, right? Yeah. So I put garlic and uh, parsley. Mm -hmm. And then a little like bit of bread crumbs. Sausages. And I like sausages, yeah. too. They're coming next. Oh. Yeah. So all we have to do is just spread a little bit of this mixture on it. Uh, yeah. Be generous. Don't be cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't be there's cheap. No, there's no reason to be cheap. No. You know, you're eating it. It's a bad luck. So Because this is the, the anti-grill little fatina steak, you know what I mean? That's uh, this is where you really make the money. Uh, on a Sunday, you know, you prepare it in the morning, you cook it all day, and then after yeah. you sit down and you eat, you have that. So you can go and uh, watch TV or do whatever else you have to do. Yeah. But this is fantastic, right? Watch the Sopranos. Well. Yeah. Pass me that. Yeah, watch the Sopranos. That's it. That. <laughs> hey. And you also oh, make, uh, and this is exactly, prosciutto. this is exactly the kind of recipe where you go, hey, oh, hey, I'm hey, hey, hey. You know, he said it that, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. He, he can't say anything anymore, my natural. You can act it, but you cannot say it. But okay, that's uh, that's how it is. Nice. Prosciutto, because this is an addition, can be pancetta. Eh? It doesn't have to be this mm. kind of lean. Oh. You know, I mean, oh. yeah. Oh, I got an extra one here. here, here. No, oh, you, did you want that? Oh, no, you I'm gonna use it. No, no, no. <laughs> then I'll take sausage or meatball stuffing. Yeah. Um, yeah. The sausage always. As the the skin, right? So we remove yeah. the skin. Uh, I like to just spread it open a little bit. Uh, same thing here. So there's a bit of meat involved in this. A dish. little bit of meat. Oh, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Okay. It's a layering of meat. This is actually a, a traditional Italian recipe. This is yeah. your Sunday ragu, okay. basically. Okay. This is something that everybody does. Mm. On Here we go. Especially in the Naples oh, area. That looks good. You do it like that. Oh. You roll them up. Very very easy. How easy can this be? Mm -hmm. Three ingredients. You buy everything already pre-made. But you really did the roll of the flavor in there, Massimo. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, three I cheeses, mean, three meats. Well, you need big flavors when you're cooking oh, a long time, absolutely. right? Because you need the flavors to yeah, be able to hold true. that, and you know. Develop. And then all you have to do is tie it up, and you go one, two, three, or one, two, whatever. Yeah. Or you can put a toothpick. I mean, some people use just toothpicks. I mean, I don't mind anything, but all you get the result is this here. Guys, carry on. So these. You do it. And they're perfect little oh, packages. Yeah. They're perfect they're little perfect. packages, okay? The perfect little packages, just like that. You don't, nothing will fall out. Everything will stay in, right? Yeah. So that's not a problem. Now, those can be seared as well, okay. okay, before putting them in there. Now, if you have a slow cooker that is programmable, you can actually do the searing and then turn it low and right. cook, right? I mean, right. you can do everything in one pot. In this case here, this one is, uh, is a little bit more... Um, well, not rudimentary, but a little simpler. Yeah. And so we are just uh, putting all of the stuff in, just like that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then we just uh, add our tomato sauce. Nice. Ready? And you just pour it on. Oh, Don't yeah. worry about it. Just put it pour on in, baby. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Now the acidity of the tomato is going to break down the, the tougher cut of beef. Oh, yes. And the time, because we're going slow. Don't forget, mm -hmm. this is a yep. slow cooker. And... That's the result of it. Isn't that okay. beautiful? Wow. Yeah, put that in. 
So now this, this particular one, one you got from Bed Bath & Beyond, which is yes. cool. I didn't know they had slow cookers there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Lots of them. You got everything in there for Think a, about a that. meal for the entire family. The whole family. This is, you know what, all you need is uh, maybe some sauteed rapini, yeah. a beautiful salad, some mashed potatoes, some polenta, some uh, a pasta, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, no, I mean, th this is uh, the kind of thing that because it's all meat, you're going to need, you're going to need to have a little bit of a, uh, yeah, a side, right? You can cut into one, definitely. No, take one of these. Take one of these? Yeah. Don't mess up my presentation, man. <laughs> I'm gonna cut one. I gotta see this thing. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> hey, take away the string, huh? Yeah, that's oh. what I was gonna say. <laughs> Look at that. Maybe take there you go. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah. And, oh, yeah. and and this one, if you have guests. You yeah. can cut them small, remove the string. Yeah, I didn't, didn't. Ah, you didn't take the string. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. You can cut it like that. Put it on a plate and look at the look at the the way that uh, the that's cheese so and everything else is right. Yeah, the sauce right and the cheese. Yeah, hold it right there for a second. We want to see that. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, beautiful. So beautiful as an hors d'oeuvre if you wanted to do it yes. like that. Yes. Beautiful as a main dish. Uh, Cityline.tv for this incredible recipe. And Absolutely. so use your slow cooker, people. You I know what's it. beautiful about it too? You mm -hmm. can make uh, I don't know 50 of them and yes. then store them. Put them in a Ziploc bag or in one of those rubber yes. containers and yeah. store them away whenever you need them, boom, That's you right. have it. It's all about the best so cooking. Good.